Hi, I'm Dana, holistic nutritionist, herbalist, and lactation educator. Welcome to my myth-busting video. Carbohydrates have an important role in our overall health. They are our body's preferred source of fuel, allowing our body to function in all sorts of ways. Carbohydrates are also needed to metabolize fats and proteins. Plant-based carbohydrates are the only source of dietary fiber. Diets high in fiber greatly reduces the risk for cardiovascular disease, some cancers, and diabetes. Dietary fiber is essential for optimal digestion and is a key player in a healthy gut biome. Because of this important role, it has an influence on hormone balance, body composition, mental health, and our immune system. It also helps flush out excess cholesterol, estrogen, and toxins from our body via the digestive system. Diets low in carbohydrates are those that avoid legumes and grains rarely meet our dietary fiber needs of 25 grams of soluble fiber and 47 grams of insoluble fiber. In fact, only 3% of North Americans meet their fiber needs. Although consuming a diet with adequate carbohydrates is important for overall health, there are some carbohydrates we want to avoid or reduce drastically. Free sugars are sugars removed or extracted from their whole food source and made into syrups, powders, and concentrates. These carbohydrates are the ones we need to worry about. They are no longer provided to the body in a synergistic, regulated method and are metabolized differently. This adds stress to the body, leading to health issues. In fact, consuming free sugars suppresses the immune system and causes inflammation within an hour of consumption. Free sugars are very easily overconsumed as they are found in so many food products and are addictive. A large percentage of these sugars provide no nutrition to the body and can actually cause nutrition malabsorption. In this same category are grains that have been processed into flours. Breaking down grains before digestion causes the body to process it in a similar fashion to free sugars, leading to comparable stress and inflammation in the body. It's best to slowly reduce your free sugar consumption to no more than 100 calories a week and reduce products made with grain flour to no more than two to three servings a week. Focus on whole food carbohydrates that are rich in fiber, such as intact grains, for example, rice, oats, quinoa, millet and buckwheat, legumes, vegetables, and fruits. Consider working with a nutritionist to discuss your carbohydrate and fiber requirements. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.